Hi, this is Lachavikan Tiwari. In a previous lesson, we had discussed about our RISC and the CISC architecture design techniques and the differences between RISC and the CISC and the philosophy behind the R microcontroller design. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about embedded system hardware and the use of R microcontroller into embedded system hardware. Embedded system can control many different devices from small sensors found on a production line to a real-time control system used on a NASA space probe. All these devices use a combination of software and hardware components. Each component is chosen for efficiency and if applicable is designed for future extension and the expansion. So let's understand this ARM-based embedded system device design which is also known as a microcontroller. So let's first take ARM processor here. So there is a core which is known as an ARM processor. And then ARM processor is attached to the interrupt controller. Then we have here our interrupt controller. Right? So this is interrupt controller. And then we have here AHB arbiter. AHB arbiter. Don't worry, we will discuss this AHB. And after that, we have here a, a bus, okay, which uh, we can say, let's say this is bus, okay. This bus is known as AHB and the APB bridge. Okay, we will discuss it. What is this? AHB and APB bridge. So this is advanced high performance bus and the advanced peripheral bus. Uh, this is ARM high performance bus and this is advanced peripheral bus bridge. And then this bridge has connected this AHP arbiter with it. So connect this. And apart from that, it has RTC that is real time clock. And then it also has a serial UART. Okay. And this serial UART is connected with the AHB and the APB bridge. And this UART can be used to show the data at a computer console. And then it has here another memory controller which control the memory. And then it also has AHB ARM Advanced high performance bus external bridge okay um this has is then external bridge let me write it okay and then finally here it has ethernet controller Ethernet controller and then it also has a timer and the counter. Okay. And if we add this, uh, if we make it as a whole, as a whole, then it becomes something like this. Okay. So here you see this becomes a microcontroller and it has here arm also so this is a
microcontroller. So microcontroller includes microprocessor as well as other peripheral circuitry to become a microcontroller. And then this memory controller, memory controller has a different various type of memory such as it has a flash memory, RAM memory, dynamic RAM and also some external buses to integrate more memory. And of course, this is a physical driver. Ethernet physical driver. Right. So, this is an embedded system design hardware and how the ARM processor includes uh, other peripherals to become a microcontroller. But here you might have noticed that there are few terms which you might not know about those terms such as AHB and APB. So this is AHB and the APB. Let's say the AHB and APB. This is part of the AMBA. AMBA. So this is a bus design architecture of the ARM. architecture uh, from ARM. Okay. So let's understand what is this AMBA. Embedded system uses different bus technology than uh, those designed for 86 PCs. Okay. So the most common PC bus technology that is known as a peripheral component interconnect bus. Okay. So the common design is known as a PCI. You might know the PCI is being used into um, uh, the computer system and if you see into uh, device manager then you will see there the PCI drivers that is known as a peripheral component interconnect which connects video cards, hard disk controllers etc etc with, with the 86 processor bus. So this type of technology is external or off chip technology and built into the motherboard of the PC. But in the embedded system it uses an on chip bus that means this is off chip but this AMBA AMBA is on chip bus technology which make it faster ok so this ARM so this ARM bus architecture make it faster and this AMBA stands for Advanced Microcontroller Bus Architecture. Advanced Microcontroller Bus Architecture. And it was first introduced into 1996. And after that, it has been highly adopted for the use of, for use into our microcontroller design. And the first ARM, uh, uh, first advanced microcontroller bus architecture, the AMBA, was introduced, which was known as ASB, ARM system bus. ASB, ARM system bus, which was known as ASB and advanced um, and ARM peripheral bus. Okay. 
which is known as APB. And after this, ARM introduced another uh, bus architecture, finally, which is known as ARM High Performance Bus. High performance bus, which is known as AH, uh, which is known as AHB. So, if we compare this AHB and uh, ASB, AHB always provides. Let's compare this AHB and the ASB. AHB provides a high data rate. That's mean high throughput. Okay. And uh, this also has a multi-layer uh, uh, bus design which also allows pipelining and uh, faster of course the faster data rate transfer and this is also multi-layer bus design architecture so the moreover now this arm uses this ahb design okay and this design has been absolute into uh, from the arm design architectures so this is all about in this video we have discussed about the embedded system design hardware techniques and the use of uh, arm arm processors and the microcontroller into embedded system design and then we have also discussed about the bus technology which is known as AMBA advanced microcontroller bus architecture and the other type of the advanced microcontroller bus architectures such as AHB and the previous design architecture such as ASB and APB and we have also discussed about the advantage of AHB over ASB bus architectures so this is all about in this video thank you so much for watching this one please stay tuned for the next one in which we will be covering more about uh, arm embedded system design techniques moreover we will be covering memory into next video thank you